Good morning uh, to all the esteemed faculty and uh, thank you Manoj, Dr. Banchi Sabu, Dr. Bharat Sabu and Dr. Jain. And uh, I guess despite all this confusion that's happened, it can get, go into quite an interesting uh, conversation. And uh, I think I really uh, go uh, with what Dr. Gokhan, Gokhani spoke about, that preconceptional care is very important. And if we're talking about existing diabetic, I also would that yes, insulin is the way to go, get our HbA1c 6.5, 6.2 and take the patient up from there. But if it's a patient who just has mild hyperglycemia, HbA1c maintain signs of insulin resistance, then yes, metformin is a very good option. In fact, if you're talking about gestational diabetes, which comes in at 24 weeks, I think it's a fair choice to give metformin. It makes the life so much easier. I think my mistake, my slides which came up, uh, that was my introductory point. Can you I don't? Yes, you can. Yeah, it's here. This was my introduction which says that generally women are looked upon as Devi Ma and bohat sare roop hai as a Devi. But in today's reality, this is the reality of women where we are multitasking and whether it is at work, whether it's at home, whether it's children, whether it's your work environment, everything. Anything as a gestational diabetic which is one of the most woman's life, why should I have my patient looking like this when I can have her looking like this? So the point is metformin is an excellent, excellent drug. If we are talking about a gestational diabetic, we know diabetes, uh, you know, pregnancy is a diabetogenic uh, system or an environment where most even people who are euglycemic have a tendency to have an increase in insulin resistance. Metformin being I think it's a great drug. At the same time, if a person is because or our HbA1c goals are not being met, definitely insulin is the way to go. Because as we said, compliance with our patients is maximum at this time. As you rightly mentioned, mixed insulin are the easy way to go. But as physicians, and especially in an academic uh, platform, I would say that it that if we can maximize the outcomes where we can have best control in blood glucose, whether it is with insulin or it is with metformin. So my argument ends as this only, that if I am reducing insulin resistance, if I am reducing the overall maternal weight gain, if I am reducing the chances of spontaneous abortion, metformin is a great way to go. But through the pregnancy, when I am looking for optimum blood glucose control, if only metformin and diet don't work, for sure insulin. I agree with you. See, insulin is first line agent which is recommended by all the guidelines but it is also class B and metformin is also same class B. Class B means the uh, animal studies have shown no uh, side effects but the human studies have not been done. So both metformin and uh, insulin they come in group B but with the patients like uh, having very high glucose level as you were saying two group of patients are there one is GDM and one is non-diabetic. So in non-diabetic, as we know that they will require insulin in the uh, course of uh, pregnancy, so why not to start from the first day to prevent future complications? Because the first uh, three months are very cru crucial for embryogenesis. So we have to weigh the patient uh, profile that which patient is coming to your clinic, who is sitting in your chair, and then you should decide. Like three days back only, one patient came, sir, I will not take insulin. So already she was taking metformin in the last pregnancy and she conceived and delivered a healthy baby. So again, she was saying, no, aapne to pehle diya tha. So again, she went back with metformin only. She was not able to start, uh, start the insulin and not convinced. So these are the patients which we are facing and we have to judge what they require. And because compliance is a big problem in India. Aapne lik diya, they will not take, but it will be more harmful. I guess the therapeutic inertia which is there has to happen from our end also that we don't stay stuck on insulin as Ashish's patient said I will not take nothing mm -hmm. we can exactly. rather than saying don't take anything I think metformin is a good also I think the flu get the diagnosis of gestational diabetes and uh, I think one study which where they are planning to change the diagnostic criteria calling it a Precedental uh, diabetes and a precedental diabetes. So I guess where, uh, rather than trying to name a name to the uh, dysglycemia of pregnancy, 
the numbers and whatever way we need, whether it is metformin or insulin, both of them have proved they are safe and adequacy in giving us a good outcome. And Actually, when we look into pathophysiology of GDM, a lady who is actually non-diabetic, diabetic, start with. As the prog pregnancy progresses, a lot of hormonal changes are going on. You know that luteinizing hormone, FSH, corticosteroids, growth hormone, everything is. So there has to be a balance between insulin and insulin resistance Absolutely. in that lady. But in e because of these changes, the insulin resistance, whenever take over the insulin, that is the state when we start seeing the hyperglycemia in these. And usually when we go to the past, patient diabetes tabled when is diagnosed the weeks of 24 to 28 weeks. So already first trimester has been crossed. Oh. It is very safe that if you cope with some insulin sensitization drugs like platform, it is very good. But now we have said that whenever first time it is diagnosed, we label it as a gestational diabetes. This lady may be a case of a pre-diabetes, was not diagnosed with the preconception at any time. And maybe this disbalance has been there very initially and she diagnosed. So accordingly, the clinical judgment and with all the academic backgrounds have to take a very thoughtful for the care of the patient for a good outcome. And so you can go with one of them. But Mr. Yeah, Lee, yeah. what you were asking, yeah. Madam, against metformin, one study has been done that during the first trimester, you can give metformin and you have to avoid after in the second and third trimester because the baby's uh, weight is more after the few weeks. So there are some studies also which are favoring in the first trimester, but they are saying to stop in the second and third trimester. Studies this is MIG TOFU trial, ma'am. TOFU trial. Yes. First time. Individualization will be yeah. the key. Madam, as far as diagnosing, where is for? Oh, when? Diagnosis? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Government of India guidelines, which, which actually suggest that you should use metformin after 20 weeks. This is what they, they have clearly stated. The other thing is, nowadays we are seeing more and more cases of early GDM which are diagnosed before 24 weeks or even before 20 weeks. It is common to diagnose with 16 or 17. Those, those patients ideally should be patient uh, put on insulin as we have seen that it is mainly postprandial hyperglycemia which is observed in pregnancy. So if you, if you put first on insulin and then to add metformin if insulin doses are increasing, then this is the better way. Down the yeah. total insulin. Right. As well. And and few of the cases what we have observed that uh, metformin, due to metformin, uh, one of my gynecologists told me that we have observed that uh, metformin is causing uh, oligouria in few of the patient as in, in few of the patient where it is polyuria, uh, uh, polyhydroamnios, sorry, polyhydroamnios, they ask us to start metformin and, and we have started and it had, uh, it helped. The other thing, the baby's weight, when it is macrosomia or baby's weight is on higher side or large for gestational end, age, then when we start uh, metformin, it gives better result. In in small for gestational age, we should not use metformin. This is yeah. what the... One thing, madam, <clears throat> does metformin cross the placenta or not? Yes, yes it, it crosses. It does. It does. It does. Definitely crosses. It does. So also, there are glybenclamide. But then the long term effect, I think, is not for metformin is not studied. So one point will go. Why not to use? Huh? There. Long term studies are not there even yes. for insulin or. 
what is your take on they are not long term that's why it is group b drug both because they have not been studied in the human yeah reason yeah the junk food or I, what is the reason uh, patients of pco patients are on platform and they are controlling their insulin and they want them to conceive they conceive but oh, madam it is question. shown no that it works beautifully in correct, pcod correct. patients okay. and also the patients who do turn out to be pregnant the chance of spontaneous abortion is much reduced when metformin is in, in case of pcod ma'am guidelines also suggest that you you may continue metformin in case if, of pcod if he has been taking uh, uh, metformin while yeah. in the peri consent and continue continue tm which so they say start metformin, starting it new after 20 weeks. Now, followed up, yeah. Registered. Now when, so when you start, what is the initial dose you are starting and how do you escalate it? So, sir, directly I think it would, go uh, huh. depend on what the numbers are, the numbers that are there. If I have a patient who's having an HbA1c of 0.3, 7.4, at the time when she's coming to me for the first time, I would personally start in and maybe give a small dose of uh, metformin to reduce the overall insulin requirements, reduce the insulin resistance. But definitely if the HbA1c is above 7.2, or 6, I would initiate with insulin. Maybe just a basal insulin to help bring it down easily and I have seen that the patients uh, who are pregnant and turn out to be diabetic early in pregnancy, they are very, very compliant. They agree to everything that you say to just make the baby Counseling safe. is Even very for important. Insulin. So, you start with the 250 mg, see what is his gastric tolerance, then increase by about uh, say 7 days interval, go up to 500, then go for another. 500 maximum if he is a sedentary or overweight you Over can go for up to 500 500 up to 2000 milligram also always keep them informed informed yeah. this is the because they will the they will blame you in the end ki aapne to bataya hi nahi. if See, something goes true, wrong na. if we are on that place definitely at least explain us एक तो पढ़ी लिखी क्लास आती है वो बहुत गूगल करके आती है <laughs> वो तो आपको जो है मतलब परेशान कर करके जाएगी एक आती है जो आपको आपको जो है आप बताइए आप एक बार उनको एक्सप्लेन मुझे है दे है फेथ तो लगता है कि वो सब चीज हाथ में चल गुड आते हैं तो पेशेंट इंफॉर्मेशन इज इम्पोर्टेंट तो काउंसिलिंग तो बताना की वॉट आर दिंग्स अवेलेबल एंड वॉट आई आई वॉन्ट टू क्या बेनिफिट है इसमें इसमें देना चाह रहा हूँ क्या देना चाह रही हूँ या मेटफॉर्मिन क्यों है आपके लिए किया जाए तो इससे ये चीजें या एब्सोल्युटली बिफोर कंसेप्शन तो पेशेंट जो डायबिटीज के हैं वही मैं बात कर रही हूँ समय तो वो बिल्कुल प्रिपेयर्ड हैं कंसेप्शन के पहले ही आप उनको तैयार कर रहे हैं नहीं अब आप कंसीव करने वाले हैं तो आपको इंसुलिन की रिक्वायरमेंट रहेगी भले ही आप अभी ओरल हाइपोग्लाइसेमिक अब इंसुलिन की जरूरत पड़ेगी कि हम ताकि आपका कंसेप्शन कंसेप्शन में भी प्रॉब्लम होती है कंसेप्शन ठीक तो ओरल हाइपोग्लाइसेमिक डोंट गिव सल्फोनाइल यूरिया वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ईडीएम जब एक्चुअली ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी फर्स्ट टाइम डायग्नोस होती है एक तो फीमेल या फैमिली वाले उसी में शौक में चले जाते हैं सडन क्या हो गया मतलब कई दूसरे वहीं फर्स्ट स्टेज से उनको समझाते हुए कि डाइट कंट्रोल चल रहा है अभी डाइट करके देखते हैं क्या करके ऐसा होगा तो ये दो ऑप्शन हैं और क्या किसके बेनिफिट्स हैं क्या रिस्क हिसाब से हम शुरू करेंगे तो एक स्टेप बाई दिस विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प द प्री कंसेप्शन पार्ट इज वेरी डिफरेंट बिकॉज द पेशेंट इज ऑलरेडी कमिंग टू यू फॉर काउंसिलिंग यू स्टॉप ऑल द अदर ओ बट कंटिन्यू इंसुलिन एंड मेटफॉर्मिन क्योंकि ऑल ओ एच एस इफ यू विदड्रॉ द शुगर्स विल गो वेरी हाई so you start them with metformin and insulin if they are coming Achha. for preparation of pregnancy 3 to 6 months before you, the pregnancy so
yeah we can use in if the patients are having very high glucose levels obese patients and they are requiring too much of dose then we can use metformin also along with it we 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 have to start with lowest dose 250 mg bd and then we can escalate as sir told to see the sensitivity of the patient that how it is decreasing the resistance what are what are the situations type 1 diabetes ketosis patients we we have also to avoid type it type 2 patients having a lot yes, of uh, uh, morning sick and it's not doctor. comfortable in no uh, is already uh, di no, having discomfort they are people with hypertension gdm with but it improves it, it is helpful in uh, eclampsia patients if we use metformin no. but renal functions you have to see gdm with hypertension these are situations where you have to uh, see the function already pointed out uh, premature premature correct. growth retardation so these are the issues where hmm. acidosis lactic acidosis will be more yeah, yeah, that so these are the situations is to avoid rather total assessment and so the simple message is individualization of therapy is important which patient is sitting in your clinic you have to decide insulin or metformin but you have to keep in mind whether the patient has a gastric intolerance yeah. or not and one most important and a very rare complication patients after taking for a few weeks they start to lose motion most often do not recognize and we be some anti-diarrheal drugs go for a pro white is this thing that's it but please keep it in mind you stop metformin within 48 hours lose yeah. motion constantly. so that is with that yes. uh, i thank must you. thank both of you very excellent thank you have made a debate one. that uh, yes uh, just i want to ask about a obese non-diabetic patient who might undergo gestational diabetes or who have previous history of gestational di diabetes in in her uh, previous pregnancy so uh, and is a case of uh, hyperinsulinemia can we consider giving metformin before the diabetes to appear definitely we can give her and we are giving in many patients to help to improve the ovulation and getting pregnant from the initiation of pregnancy means uh, in the first trimester of pregnancy in a obese non diabetic patient no if she became pregnant and she was non diabetic and she was having pcos then we can give and we can continue if she is having no, hyper she mild hyperglycemia gestational diabetes in the previous pregnancy or may not be but she is obese no see she so is obese then, and uh, if the gtt is normal we don't have to start we don't start it uh, before the diagnosis of diabetes she is insulin resistant. In the pre counseling phase, we would like to tell them to take up lifestyle measure and lose weight and do all of that. If she has PCOS, she would definitely uh, be benefited by the metformin. But if there is no glycemia, there is no PC, I don't think we can empirically start metformin that she might get GD. We need to monitor them properly and give them proper lifestyle modification. Diet exercise is better option. Yes, yes because it is not yet recommended as an anti obese drug. Yeah. If it is if seeds has a pre diabetes, yes, you can also we start can. metformin. Those are the two indications. But ask her to go for improved physical activity to reduce weight, and uh, MNT is very important.